plaintiff, Qualina Lewis, was friends with the defendant, and she was thrilled when the defendant got engaged. However, she claims the defendant turned into a bridezilla, and as a result, some of her bridesmaids canceled on her bachelorette party trip. Qualina is suing the bride for the trip expenses. Defendant Nina Cameron says she had 11 bridesmaids, and Qualina was the worst. Nina claims Qualina is the reason her other bridesmaids dropped out of the trip, and she's countersuing for emotional distress. Start with you. Well, first, Your Honor, can I say my mom and my grandma love you? I'd get in trouble if I didn't say that. All right. So you don't love me. Me <laughs> too. <laughs> 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 Yeah, so I, I was like gonna recommend too. they put you out or <laughs> disassociate you. No, me too, Go Judge ahead. Mathis. All right. But, so, Nina. Nina and I have been friends for over 18 years, good friends, you know. We grew up together, we were next door neighbors from each other. So when she um, told me she was getting married, I was very excited for her, very happy for her. We always get along great, except, you know, when we bump heads, because we're a lot alike. So we bump heads a lot. But I was excited to be one of her bridesmaids. But she turned the whole process into just stressful, um, annoying. She was a bridezilla, mm -hmm. plain and simple, a bridezilla. Oh, so give me some examples. OK, so one example is she would send us messages in the group chat saying, we're not living up to our bridesmaid duties, <laughs> which I didn't know what she expected of us because when we would go to things like looking at her dress and stuff, we would give opinions on hair and makeup and decorations. She would always tell us, this is my wedding. I don't want your, this is my wedding. I don't want your opinion. Don't make it about you. So I didn't know what she wanted from us. Okay. She None wanted- of your, uh... Fellow bridesmaids ever been married? No, she was the first one in our group. Okay, to maybe be that's married. it. Yes, yes, she was the first one. Maybe that's it. Right. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Those are pretty natural reactions. You're under exactly. extreme stress during that time, so y'all should give her a break on that. So when she told me she was getting married, I was very excited for her, very happy for her. I was excited to be one of her bridesmaids, but she was. A bridezilla, plain and simple. Plaintiff Qualina Lewis says she was thrilled when the defendant asked her to be a bridesmaid in her wedding, until the defendant turned into a bridezilla. Let me hear from you, give me some background. On so that. first of all, most of the stuff that she said is true, but if I was a bridezilla, it's because she created me to be a bridezilla. How so? Well, I had 11 bridesmaids and she was honestly the worst. Um, and uh, for us to be that close, I thought she would be the most supportive. What she do? She wasn't. She what did was, she do? What did she do? Well, she first she had called my the dresses and the hair that I, ha, hair style that I wanted ugly. She said it was gonna lack elegance. She was basically um, she had other. She group, didn't use the word ugly. I promise you, she did her. Did you? I, I promise you, she. Did. I said it would lack elegance if we had a place. ugly. I said ugly. Did you? Oh use no, that no, term? I did not say ugly. I said her. Well, well when I elegance. responded to a text message from another uh, bridesmaid, I said that. So you guys basically saying my wedding is gonna be ugly, and she basically agreed that it was gonna be ugly. Um, she had other group members fighting with each other um, about, what? about just the trip about because she has said that, you know, having no child care is not the reason you should be going. You should not be going on a trip. So they dropped out of the trip because of her of my bachelorette party. So she needed the other uh, bridesmaids drop off because of you. Not because of me. I'm sure they dropped off because of Nina. They told you that? She was a bridezilla. Did they not. tell you they dropped off because of no, her? No, Did they tell you why they, they dropped off they and they said it was because, because of her? Of her? Because All of right. Me. They did point the finger at you, your fellow bridesmaids. I they, even have it on, I even have uh, our group chat and I have them leaving the group chat and then they're saying they would left the group and they didn't want to be out of the, be out of the trip because of her. Let's see that. Okay. All right, now we may see that you're the only one that felt that way. You're the only one that was mad at her, player hating. <laughs> and she getting married. You couldn't stand it, could you? <laughs> That's not it um, at all. I tried I, to do the I understand, best and I you're could. not the only one that dropped out after we booked. You're the only one with a valid excuse. Not having childcare is a very valid excuse. I was also told I did not need to pay, but I can pay if that's preventing 
the trip. I thought you said this was going to make reference to the friend saying they dropped out because of so her. So they left she the, they left the group because it says it in yeah, there. Yeah, but you said they were going to make reference to her, ma'am. No, they called me, but it shows, it shows in there them one person leaving yeah, the group. All right, I know what I asked leave. you, and okay. I know what you said, and I know what you gave me. It Three different things. Different. All right, tell me why you're suing. I'm suing Nina because we all agreed to go on a Miami trip to live like stars for her bachelorette. That's where she wanted to go. So we booked this big old mansion and um, I paid on my credit card and all the bridesmaids was supposed to pay me back either cash or cash app. Mm -hmm. So after I booked about a month later, we're all excited Who to go to Who is the total Miami. cost? The total cost was 5,536. Okay. I have a receipt. Okay. Go ahead. We we booked the trip. We were all excited. And then, like, about a month later, all the brides, well, not all the bridesmaids, but about four bridesmaids started dropping out like flies. So I told them, you guys are still responsible for this money. You still have to pay me, even mm -hmm. though you're not going on this trip. Okay. We agreed. Mm -hmm. Nina made it a point to tell me and the others, they don't have to pay. I will pay their way. And she didn't do it. All right. That's well, why I'm here for you I did on that. agree to pay, but then after she started like being rude and disrespectful, why did you agree to pay for your own bachelorette party? That's the because first I was time I've heard that. She was already causing a lot, and I'm like, everybody's already stressed. Like I was stressed. I had Correct. a lot of anxiety. I wasn't even in the hospital because of all the stress that was going on. Did she know that? No, she didn't know that. But I have my uh, bill for that too. No, I believe um, you. I know you were under a lot of um, stress. And she just didn't take any of that in consideration. She even paid April Fool's uh, April Fool's joke on me, saying she was leaving the wedding. Um, but that's saying why what? saying that she was going to leave the wedding because okay. she couldn't get the day off. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's why I agreed to pay. Cause I'm like, I don't want anybody to have friction. I'm tired of all this right now. So I'll just agree to pay. But after she just kept going, she even uh, made a comment like, this is our wedding. So we need to look just as good as you. It just kept, it just kept going. It was really stupid. And that's why I was like, you know what? I'm not paying anymore. I did enough for all of you guys. Ma'am. Well, we were going to pay for Nina. Mm -hmm. She Change your mind because she didn't act right. No, that's not why. why. Because all of her bridesmaids had dropped out. So now we needed more money to make up for all of them. How many were left? There was four, four of us, the bride and three of us bridesmaids. Because they all dropped yeah. out because of her. Uh, the problem you have, ma'am, is this was a promise of a gift. This isn't a contract. A contract is an exchange. One person gets something, the other person gets something else. Uh, so this is a gift. I'm going to give you all money for something you all were supposed to pay for. That's what she's saying. What's the emotional distress for? For humiliating me in front of her bridesmaids when I do? asked when I asked for the money, she told me that I was rude, that I was ruining her um, wedding. She threatened to kick me out work. twice. Like, this has ruined our relationship. Okay, so what did you say to cause her emotional distress? So much stress, she wants to She wasn't you getting for. married. I was, I was the but one who was stressed. she says that you were going off on I was, I was not going fine. off on her, Your Honor. Plaintiff Qualina Lewis says she was thrilled when the defendant asked her to be a bridesmaid in her wedding until the defendant turned into a bridezilla. All right, your emotional distress for what? Uh, for her just having bridesmaids drop out, for her playing jokes on me, for her basically everything that I did for them is basically, you know, I should, I'm, I have emotional distress. I went to the hospital for anxiety. My chest was hurting. I thought I was having a heart attack. I have bills for that. Um, it, like, I don't- But she, she didn't she, drop out, did she? No, she didn't drop out. And you out. said you have evidence that the other said they dropped out uh, and no, because of her, and then you me. even handed me a sheet saying, here it is. They say that right they there. Left, you can and see it that says it, no such thing. They left the group, and after they left the group, they called me and said, I'm just telling you what you happened. told me you were giving me, and it wasn't on there. Because you said you had evidence where they pointed to her as the reason. Say, here, Judge, it says it right there. <laughs> It you must not watch the, the show and know that I read whatever it is <laughs> you say it is. You know, that's the typical of some courtrooms. So they give the judge a stack of stuff. Here, judge, it's right there. It's right there. I think he's going to take time to read it. You didn't give me a big enough stack. I could read one page. <laughs> you should have gave me like 20 pages. Then I wouldn't have been able, I wouldn't have had time to bust you. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. So I'm not granting you any emotional distress, ma'am. She didn't do anything to cause you emotional distress. And a promise of a gift is not binding. Yes. Can I say, Your Honor, mm -hmm. I told the other bridesmaids and Nina that I was going to sue them for this money because it was too much money. She said, don't, because I'm going to pay. And so to just keep the peace, I let her do it. That's a lot of money for me to be losing out on it, a lot. Yeah, you should sue your fellow bridesmaids. That's who left you in the lurch, not her. Because they decided to drop out. She didn't kick anybody out. They decided to. Your colleagues who were to repay you, who were to reimburse you for the trip for her bachelorette party. Bachelorettes never pay a dime for anything. Their bridesmaids pay for it. Now because of this woman is under extra stress as any woman is who's going about to be married, you all want to start some mess and get messy and they drop out for whatever reason. You or her, they owed you. She didn't owe you a dime. She said she gave you a promise that I would give you something, but a promise is not valid until it's delivered. She says she refused to deliver that promise because of the way you acted. Messy. Uh, your claim is dismissed and show is yours. Have a good day. I don't know if we'll be friends. Maybe if I would have won the case today, we could have maybe thought about it, but that's a lot of money, and money does Like he said, go to, go to the other bridesmaids, not me, sorry.